Hi, welcome back all of you. Nana here and then we have completed the creation of a template actually. Negotiation template has been created. Now we are going to create a single stage RFQ. We are going to create a single stage RFQ. We'll now go there. Let me share my screen. So before we create the single stage RFQ, we have to set up the approvals actually. We have to set up the approvals. So now if you go there and then see this, no fine. So here, what about that? We have to see the negotiation approver as well as the award approver. So we have to say, who is the award approver? I will not take up the negotiation approval. I will not take up it. We will not set up the negotiation approval, actually. So click on the name. And then here, what about the go there? Click on the setup and maintenance. So go to the setup and maintenance. And then here, you go there. Click on it. And then click on search. You're going to search the task. So go there. Manage supply negotiation approval of the task. And go there. And then search for it. There, we will now set up the Calvin Roth as the approval. And whenever a negotiation is created, he has to approve it because they're all large volume negotiations. So we need somebody to approve it, actually. It will be in million dollars. So click on it. So minus the parallel. So of course, click on it. So somebody has enabled this parallel. <clears throat> let me disable it now. Fine, let me disable it. And then I normally keep it on header, say, approval hierarchy thing. So this is the way where I decided now I click on it. In the real field, you can see that no, nobody will be there. So since it is a training instance, there are so many people who are involved in it. Fine, I will now enable this now. Fine. The one I'm enabling it. I'm going to click on the edit rules and then I will now set up or what. So click on plus. <clears throat> I will now say Calvin drop. <clears throat> drop drop. Negotiation. Neg. I'm writing it now. I got. And then you don't say rule always applies, always give a condition actually. <clears throat> and then at least you put the BU condition as such. Click on okay. And then click on the BU. So go there, click on it. And then I add a condition. <clears throat> I will now say repositioning BU. <clears throat> I will not say negotiation be used there or not. I will not say negotiation be. Uh, negotiation style is there. Uh, negotiation be used there. Fine. Nego uh, percentage fine. Be used. Not see whether it comes or not. Fine. Not coming with the percentage actually. <clears throat> negotiation. Uh, so here. Now uh, go there. Then have a look at fine. Negotiation owner. If we have negotiation view to be great, actually, I mean, we don't have any negotiation view actually. Uh, negotiation owner. So I will not put some condition of angle on it. Negotiation owner. <clears throat> I will not say uh, equals to value. I will not say it's the EMP2. EMP2 is the person. We are not doing it up on EMP2. And then come on T01. So some condition will now distinguish you from others, actually. So this is the guy who is not going to get a negotiation, actually. So for that. So I know negotiation owner, I am not putting as a condition. So click on OK. And then click on add action <clears throat> and then go there. Because negotiation owners will now restrict the application of this particular approval to only your people actually. Go there. I will now go there. I will now say single approver. <clears throat> and then I will now make it as a worker actually. And then here I will now say Roth Calvin. Roth, comma, Calvin. Was it last name, comma, first name? That is the way you had to write it. Now I click on it. And then click on OK. So this guy has to approve. So once when a negotiation is made, this guy is to approve. And then only when he is the negotiator actually. He is, the, he is the negotiation owner actually. So click on save and then click on deploy, which what happens is no deploy. So no deploy. So it will be going to him. And then apart from that, what happens? You always enable one more thing on the what happens? You go there, click on one. So it is already enabled. Now. This is enabled. Now. I click on that. Come on up here. And then you go to the configure procurement business function. Right? Configure right? procurement business function. So go to the configure procurement business function in the bottom on the sourcing area. Right? Drop it on the US one business unit. Choose the US one business unit. And then go there. Click on OK. Now. Go there. In the bottom, what happens? You'll be having one tick mark for the approvals actually. So here, what happens? Uh, uh, bypass approvals for automatically submitted orders. Right? So when when an, when, uh, when an order is submitted automatically, there is no need to buy, uh, what happens, approve it also. So in the bottom sourcing, what happens? You go there and then initiate approval. So we initiate it. So that what happens, approval initiate. Otherwise, what happens, we can even bypass the approval. Right? <clears throat> enable, enable, enforce, and then display, display, automatically populate, <clears throat> display, fine, enable. So this initiate approval automatically add new supply items to item related to fines. Okay, <clears throat> this is the one which is now going to initiate the approval. Actually. So ensure it, and then always uh, see all those things, and then what happens, enable the appropriate ones. <clears throat> enable award approval, enable negotiation approval. So if I remove it, then what happens, the negotiation will never go for approval at all. <clears throat> and similarly, if you remove the tick mark, the awards will never go for approval at all. 
these are the two things which are very important. So depending upon the company's policy, you can even bypass the negotiation and award of close. So go there. So give a cancel no point. <clears throat> Initiate approval is there. Now what happens? You go there, click on the now, and then we will now go ahead and then create what a negotiation. Click on the home icon. So now only for the negotiation by award approval, we are at it made up and not in made. So uh, while doing the award at the end, whatever they will not make it. I go to the procurement. I click on the negotiation of it. Click on the negotiation. Okay. So click on new negotiation. So create a negotiation. Fine. Is a large negotiation which whatever they do. You know, if I click create negotiation. We are now creating a new negotiation actually. So drop down. So this is now coming by default because in the procurement BU, we have already given this as the default one now. Fine. So T01 mark is coming. The negotiation style is coming. Go there, click on it. And then drop down. And then your template will also be coming. So a single RFQ is now made against this. That's coming automatically. And then the purchase order is the outcome of it. So, the, so once when you put a type, the type, the style, the template, everything will be coming automatically for you. So click on create. So the template will now going to be getting populated on this negotiation actually. Can click on create. <clears throat> We are now creating the first negotiation actually. So the first negotiation is now under creation actually. <clears throat> Go inside. So I will not give a title now. Fine, I will not say T011. Fine, I will not say single stage RFQ. So there is one more thing called two-stage RFQ in which what happens, it will be having a technical round and then afterwards a commercial round actually. So we are going to see it afterwards, not fine. So in the first, to begin with, what happens, you are beginning with a single-stage RFQ. And then uh, what is the approval amount, we can even put it off and go there. So if it is the approval amount is there, let us say 10,000, then what happens, we can even configure the approvals accordingly. If you want multiple approvals for this, we can even call it, not fine. So I'll put something not from what I'm putting it. So go that one. Now, but what happens, I have now configured the approval without any condition. The condition is only what the negotiator can create only. Otherwise, what happens? I have to put the approval amount so and so. Then the, this is the approval. If it is above, what happens? There will be some other approval. So multiple rules can be created actually. Go down and find the general. What happens? They go there, click on it. Go there. So go there. it's all coming. So if the close date is a fixed date, fine. Go there, drop it down. And then here, what happens? I will not say when it is going to close. <clears throat> I will not say uh, uh, on uh, 26 it is going to close. The close date is 26. So the quote. So don't do close. So whenever a supplier responds back, his uh, quote must be valid beyond 26 actually, right? Because up to 26, everybody will be quoting, and then his quotation on the price and terms and conditions must be valid beyond 26 actually. It will be normally blind actually, and then it will be preview upon approval and then open upon approval. And it will be getting open now. Right? And then enable team scoring, enable weights, display scoring criteria. Everything is there. They are all coming from the template actually. Fine, leave it as such. Everything is there on. The fixed date is not given off and gone. And then you go to the terms and click on the terms. In the terms, what happens if you have any want to change anything, you can very well change. Otherwise, leave it as an and go to the collaboration team. So now we have given two collaborators basically. One is the Calvin Roth, and then one is the Brown Cassie. And they are all scorers now. But the owner will also will, will be able to score. Now. And he has been given full powers to score actually. He can not only score, but he can even award it. He's having full award. Whereas these two guys will have only the scoring limits actually. We are now given instruction also what they have to do finally on it. And then this is what the project and task. Now we're doing it and do it. So go there. next is what you go to the requirements. The requirement is the cream of a contract the negotiation actually. Right? Click on the requirements. So we already populated the requirements on the template actually. <clears throat> we already populated the requirements on the template. And go down. So we have got a financial viability. What is your annual turnover? Fine. This is going to be automatic actually. If you go there and then go there, click on edit now. Fine. Click on edit. This is going to be automatic. So click on it. No, see that. What happens? It is going to be automatic. Right? Weight is forty, and then knockout score is three. If you say is my turnover is annual turnover is five million, what happens? You will be given a five score automatically. Four means four, three means three. If you say is only is annual turnover is two two million, what happens? The system knocks him off automatically. That means what? He will be out of the race for the particular negotiation because we want a supplier who is having a very high uh, what happens? Uh, sales volume. <clears throat> that means what? He is a large supplier. Actually. So for such a large supplier only we want it. So we can even very well configure this thing. This is automatic actually. Automatic. And go that count. And then I give a cancel. I'm not doing anything at all. I'm going to cancel. And then writing the requirement is the real cream of it. Agreed terms. And then agreed terms is a very uh, very important one. Every company will now ask you to agree to the terms actually. Fine. That will be there. And then I have made it as a manual scoring actually. So the scorers will now give the value. Fine. Whether he's agreeing to the terms or not. He may even, whatever, he may even disagree, and then he will not say certain things, he will not make an attachment about why he's disagreeing on certain parts. So the scorer will now see the attachment and then see whether he can be considered for this thing or not. If he is finding that there is too much of a deviation when compared to our terms and then his terms, then what happens? He may even knock him off. 
So well, the technical cabinet, it's fine. Whether, you know, whether, uh, you, are you providing a 24 by 7 support? And then this is going to be automatic. And then which are the following methods of communication, like email, you know, fax, and then et cetera, et cetera. So these are the ones which have been added. So writing the requirements on a negotiation is basically a key, fine, is a very important one. Because in a large volume of one, fine, we had to write the uh, thing and then we ensure that what happens, we are now with the right supplier for the job actually. <clears throat> we normally quote, quote this uh, RFQs only for our preventive maintenance and then breakdown maintenance. Really. Because preventive maintenance will be in, uh, running into what happens, a huge million dollars basically. Because it will be down for approximately a week's time or four days' time. <clears throat> so during which what happens, these suppliers will be coming. As far as we are in the electrical department, they will not come and then revamp all the equipments. They will not refurbish it. And then they will not do the calibration. They will not do the testing. And then uh, they will not do a lot of other activities. So many activities will be there. So in such cases, what happens, we want a very reliable supplier actually. So for which what happens, we will not write a requirement in a very proper manner. And then the requirements are industry specific actually. If you're going to write a requirement for a steel industry, that may not be suitable for a cement industry. Actually. So you must be a domain specific uh, person so that whatever you'll be able to write these requirements. And then uh, there are some terms like agreed terms will be common to everybody. And then the company will be having a lot of terms and conditions so that you can put it and you can take it from the company and then put it as a condition actually. And all the requirements put together must be equal to 100 actually. <clears throat> so it's not enough. And then go there. So the requirements are done. I'll not go to the lines. No, click on the lines. I go to the lines. No, click on the lines. So here, what happens in the template, we will not have any lines, but here we'll be having a line. So we had to add a line actually. So here, what happens? They go there. So the lines has to be added actually. Fine. <clears throat> uh, lines is coming, but what happens? We are not getting any. What happens? Uh, uh, we are not having any. What's called uh, the line addition actually. Uh, somewhere something is missing on this. No, fine. Go there. Uh, so what I do is I will not add the line in the. What happens in my template it's not coming properly. So line addition is not coming properly because of some setups actually. You will now go to the OU page and click on it. The OU. What happens? Go there. And then the general. On general. Non negotiations there. Uh, fixed. And then blind. <clears throat> and then include lines anywhere there. Fine. You have to see. You know, enable team scoring. Enable weights. Display scoring criteria. Everything is there. Fine. So. Somewhere, what about the line is not there actually. <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> the terms might have come generally known there. Lines has to come off. Into. So I will now cancel it. Let me query my template and then I will now add the line there. Somewhere, something is missing on this. I will now go there. So click on the home and then I will now, what happens? I go to the manager negotiation template and then let me add the line in the template itself. So the template, I click on it. So I edit, I click on it. So it's not coming in. I don't know. It's, I'm not going to the lines. I'm going to the lines. I'm going to see whether I can add the lines or not. So here also, what I mean, the, the plus symbol is not coming actually. Lines we are unable to add. That means what our negotiation style is having a problem. Actually. And lines not coming. I can give it answer. So we'll now go and then have a look at the style actually. You can click on that. <clears throat> so click on it. We'll now go there. So go to the setup and maintenance and then we'll now query your style actually. Click on it. We'll now go to the search and I'll click on search. I'm going to say manage fine next time. Manage negotiation style. I will not go to the style number. I will not go to the T011. And then I click on search. I made it. If I click on it, we are going to edit now. Single stage. Or if you find so everything is there, I active. Enable for all things. So again, what happens? The negotiation document format is not coming. A single document file is not coming as a line in spreadsheet, actually. Separate sheet. So this is the one which is causing the problem, actually. I don't know how it has gone there, actually. And the negotiation document format must be a single document, actually. So if it's a single document, whatever the line, lines in RFI is there. Lines in RFI. <clears throat> Lots. So it must be a single document, actually. Not coming at all. I don't know how it has become as a spreadsheet, actually. Overall rank, everything is there. Right. Line price. Send in relation to internal cost factors, response amount, line price, everything is there. Send in end all contacts, actually. If you remove this, nothing to it. You remove this. Okay. Okay. So, but it must be a single document and not lines in spreadsheet, actually. But it is not editable, actually. So, there is some problem on this. Nothing to It's not coming properly. <clears throat> uh, okay. okay. I will now create one more style and then do it. Nothing to it. I will not give a cancel. No. 3012 is a style I'm going to create. No. Click on this. Let me create a new style. No. While saving it, what happens? It must be very proper. 3012. 
on the score that is a single RFQ. So we are now creating a single stage RFQ and take of it and then click on the description and then code is just not going to and then go there. So here it is a single document, but some other selection is now bringing it to lines in spreadsheet. Okay, this one is coming automatically. I don't know, a single document. I don't know which one is now bringing it to line. Percent. So go there. So the T012 underscore RFQ. Mm -hmm. And then the one, okay, I don't know, go there. So the T012 underscore RF5. The auction, I'm not going to use it on a single top. That's okay. But Lord, they will not do it. So two stage also, I'm not doing it. No, I click on it. Go down, I click on it. Uh, uh, internal cost factors, response amount, line price, everything is enabled now. Uh, internal cost factors, response amount, line price, everything is enabled actually. Line price is enabled. So click on it. Lines only, fine with that. Responses on the lines only, fine, okay. <clears throat> Requirements on lines actually. The response by spreadsheet is not required. I have not removed the response by spreadsheet. This may be the one which is causing it. Response by spreadsheet, I'm now removing it now. This tick mark may be making it to what? As a spreadsheet, actually, that is the one I think. I think so. <clears throat> right. So, response based spreadsheet is remote. So, now what happens? There will be a single document. Single document will be having lines, actually. Oh, that you it. And then go there. And then what happens? You go there and then click on save and close and then query it again. And save and close. And then go there. So, you'll now query for this. No, I'm going to one, two. So, click on search. No, click on search. It has to be a single document. So, there is a single document. Right? Lines and spreadsheet is not there. I'm going to they're not done now, fine, click on it. <clears throat> so everything is coming by that point. This is the one. So I'll go there, fine, click on it. Uh, and then now what happens? Uh, uh, lines only, fine, uh, response and spreadsheet is not there at all, fine, okay? Now I will not try to, what happens? Uh, copy my template into this, now, fine, click on it. I will not try to query my template, now, fine, click on it now. I will not query my template. <clears throat> so click on done, now, fine. My new style is now made. I will not go there. I will not go to the home icon. I will not see whether I can copy the template into the customer. So go to the And then I go to the negotiations, fine click on the negotiations. And then here, go there. I will not go to the manage negotiation template, so fine click on it. So T011 is the one, fine click on search. Fine. Make a search, fine click on search. I'm searching for it. T011. You are searching for T011. T012. Uh, template now template is not created no, fine. and the T zero and then I make a search and find the search. You are not creating the negotiation template section. <clears throat> How come the template is not there? And the negotiation templates. And click on the book. I made the template actually. I made the template actually. So go to this place and click on it again. And then manage negotiation. So what happens whenever you make some big change, when you go and then sign out and sign in. <clears throat> so I have a habit of signing out and signing in. Thank click on confirm. And then EMP2, thank click on sign in. You know, signing in. Go there. Then go to the procurement and then go to the negotiations. Negotiations. And then go there. I will not go to manage negotiation templates. Negotiation templates. And then I'm going to say T0 and then click on search T01. Click on search. Why oh, it's not coming? Negotiation template is coming and negotiation type. I will now say T011 uh, RFQ and then remove it and then search for it. Then the negotiation type. So click on search. Okay. So I'm not given any name at all. You come here. T01 is the one which is there actually. <laughs> the template itself is not visible actually. So click on done now. Click on. So now what I do is I will now go and then create a template, go and then get the negotiation straight away. If I click on it, I'll now go there. I will now go to the create negotiation directly and click on the create negotiation. And then I will now use mine now. So go there, drop it down. I will now use what? T012 or Q. And drop down. My negotiation template is not coming actually. I don't have any templates for. So go on and make a search. So we had to first of all create a template and then whatever they had to populate it because template is a mandatory field now. I will now go there and then get to go to the manage negotiation template. So let us now go and then create a template of IGMA plus. I will now go there. Negotiation type. I will now say T012 RFQ. The style is coming. I will not drop down. I will not make it to the purchase order. 
purchase mode. Then click on create. We are now going to create a template actually. I don't know how my template has got vanished. It's okay, fine. Go, there. go to the overview. And, go and then you go to the requirements. Now I click on the requirements. Go here, whatever the, I will not say T0. I will not say uh, single RFQ. RFQ. I type in the beginning of it. So I will now go to the lines and then see whether I'm able to get the plus symbol for the lines or not. So the plus symbol is coming because of what uh, it is not in the spreadsheet and so whatever is now coming out only. So it should not be in spreadsheet. That is the problem which is now coming out. Right? So go to the overview page and go to the overview page. And then here, whatever they go there. I will now say preview immediately. <clears throat> it's not coming up. Right? The template layout is okay. And the enable team scoring. We are enabling it. Effect on enable team scoring. Enable reach. Everything is coming. And then we will now enable everything also. So we will now populate the requirements manually with an effect on this one transfer. Everything is enabled to be one. And then go there. So we are now in the process of creating a T012 single RFQ if I can give a same. So the template is now negotiation template is now getting created. Now I can give a same. Go there. You know, now, you go there. So click on the terms, my terms. You go there. So everything is there. You go there. And then you go to the collaboration team and then let me add the collaboration. So go there. I will now say Roth Calvin. Roth Calvin. So Roth Calvin, he will be what as a whatever. will now give a scoring only. I will now say, please go. Fine. Uh, text flex. So text flex is going to go now. Fine. Click on plus. I will now make one more one. Fine. Uh, the brown cassie brown. Fine. B R O W brown cassie. So brown cassie. Uh, uh, C A C U Y. Brown comma cassie. No fine. Not coming. B R O W L comma. No? Brown cassie. C A yeah, it's coming. No one cares. I will again give a scoring only. I will now say, please find score. Find fin specs. So the fin specs will be called, uh, scored by you know, so you're given this thing. Thank you for saying. So the template is not whatever they were. So negotiation template, fine. Edit negotiation template, fine. Zero, T01 to RFQ. So the template of a single RFQ template, not actually. And I will now make it as our template also. Name also, fine. Template. It's a template actually, if I give us a so the name also must be template actually. So it's not I will not click on the manage scoring and I will not make somebody as a score actually. The team has to be scored. Fine, click on plus now. I'll make it up. I will not say it's a T012. Fine. I will not say tech teams. And then I will not bring a lot Calvin OE and fine. And then click on save and close. So one team is now made. Fine, click on plus now. I will not make one more team. I will not say it's a T012. I will not say fit team. Pin team is now getting made. You know, so I'll go to the brown cassie and bring it down. And click on save. So two teams have been made on the template actually. If I click on that. So two teams are, so I click on save. So the collaboration team is now made with the scoring team also. And they are only having a scoring access actually. You know, and click on save. Then automatically you go to the requirements. So let us now complete the requirements part. There's a very important part on the template actually. So click on it. Find the instructions there. Find so I'll now click on add section. I will now add a one financial viability section. Financial liability there. So below which what happens? You will not add a group. Now. Click on it. Add a requirement. I click on that requirement. So click on it. below financial liability. I am not adding a requirement actually. Okay. <clears throat> I will not say uh, <clears throat> what is your annual turnover. So annual turnover one point. So I will not take a copy. I am not creating this requirement actually because of the last actually. Okay. I am not going to add the line actually. So go there. Take copy. And then hint is what you put the hint over the and then and then go there. Scoring is going to be automatic. And then here I will now say weight is going to be 40. And then knockout score is going to be three now. <clears throat> knockout score is going to be three. And then if this is five million in the down number, I will give a value of five. <clears throat> if this is four million, I will give a value of four. No. And then if this is three million, if this is three million, I click on three million. Then here what going to be three. Two. And then if this is two million, I click on two million. And then here I'm going to give a value of two. And then one million is two. So it is automatically scored. If he says one million, he gets knocked off automatically. So display target. And then I will now make the five million as a selected and then put action and then set as a target. So we are not expecting a five million target. And then it's not displayed to the supplier also. And then he may, uh, what happens? He has to see, oh God, this guy is asking for a very high uh, turnover actually. So based upon which, what happens? You know the desire whether to participate or not. Click on seven, close now. So the first requirement is now made. Give a save. So we'll now make three more requirements like this. Now, thank you. I'll now go there. 
select and then here whatever no add a requirement of click on add requirement <coughs> so i will not add a predefined requirement of click on predefined requirement <coughs> i will not say agree to terms did you got agree to terms fine that comes out so he has to agree to the terms is the one which i'm going to add to find select it and then click on apply and then click on okay no fine by which you know adding it is a ready made one so every company will be having its own terms no fine select it and then click on edit now you are editing it and then if, if you have to write the property asking to i know uh, taking it from a predefined one but you will be writing it manually actually and then here whatever the no see it is manual no fine click on manual and then go there so wait is going to be 30 now and then here again the maximum score is five the knockout score is three this is now manually done so the supplier based upon this what happens he may say yes sir no so if he is no what happens he has to attach a file also but why is saying no and then the manual scorer will now see whether uh, his justification is okay or not if justification is okay he will now give a value of more than 3 if he is if he is not satisfied he will now give a value of less than 3 so that it gets knocked off he will be knocked off from the current raise actually print to consent clause so don't no find that so give a save no fine so the second requirement is no way and then we will now make one more predefined section actually fine go there so uh, add a predefined uh, go there drop it down add a predefined section actually So I'll not drop it down. I will now say technical capabilities. My technical capabilities. Mm -hmm. And then here, what happens? I will now add again. What happens? The predefined question. Now, fine, click on it. <clears throat> I will now say support. Support. Fine, go there. So click on search. Search for it. And then I will now say support one more. <clears throat> Whether you are having a what happens? The twenty-four with someone support. We not. We need a twenty-four with someone support. So go there. Click on it. And then there is what happens? No more data. <clears throat> So if he is not providing a twenty-four by someone support, then we will be knocked off on this. No, fine, go there. I will not make it as what automatic. And then again, what about this? This is going to be twenty. No, fine, wait is twenty. And the knockout score is three. It's fine. If you say yes, it will be what five. <clears throat> no means what? It will be two actually. So it is going to be automatic. No, fine. This one is going to be automatic. And then and go there. So it's only an example in reality. What about you have to choose your question set requirements as we choose them by you. So give us a even a fine concept. Then no, 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 fine. Don't go now. The no done of it, and then go there. I will now add one more one of it. Click on it. Add a predefined support. <clears throat> I will now add one more one of it. I will now say support again. So click on support one of it. Go there. I will now second support one. Click on it. I will now click on apply, and then click on okay. One of it. Click on okay. No done of it. No done. No done. Support second support one. Go there. Come on. I will now click on edit. I will click on edit. <clears throat> so in this one, what happens? Which which method you are communicating? Either email, phone, or anything? I will now make it as manual. And then go there. The weight is going to be ten now. And then here, what are my maximum score? The knockout score is three. So this will be given as a score. So depending upon how many ways his company getting it, he may make him pass. Normally, you will not make it. You will not fail him on this. Even if email is also okay, fine. So click on the close. So maybe what happens? We have now completed all the requirements. Requirement writing is the cream of a contract actually. I have now given two on the financials, one auto and one manual, and the technical one auto and one manual actually. Manual will be done by the scorers. <clears throat> Lines we will not do it. We will not do only on the score and your thing. The lines, the plus symbol has to come. Fine, they are not coming because it was enabled for spreadsheet and so it was not coming. Fine, okay. Contract terms will be done. Fine, supplier will not go on and add it. Okay, click on suppliers. You know, go to add the suppliers. So click on. And then here, what I will not search and add. Okay, click on search. Let me search for it. Okay, click on it. I will not already create three suppliers for this. Okay, click on it. Search. I will not say T zero one is the one. Fine, make a search. Okay, click on search. You know, searching for. It. So once when you search for it, you know, get it. And with the, with the highlight, you find selected, and then select, and then selected. So all the three supplies selected, and then go the add to selection. Of fine, click on the right hand side. It will be added to selection. Of fine, click on. It will be getting added to selection. So you can now see everything is added. You know that. So click on continue. It will now come back to the main screen. All the selected scrapers will be coming on. So click on save. Of fine, you know that. So now uh, the template is now fully ready. It will now activate it. So once it is activated, what happens? It will be getting activated. Fine, click on activate. So we are now activating the template. Now fine, click on it. We are now activating the template. So the template gets activated. Now. So the template is activated. Fine, that's what I was going to record. I will now query for the three zero one two. So click on search. Now, fine, click on search. You will now see that the template is activated. Now we will now go there and activate. So let us now go on and create a negotiation actually. That fine, click on it. Now go there and create a negotiation. Click on the create negotiation. You are now going to get a negotiation. So drop down. I will now choose what RF or or three zero one two RF you know. And then go there. Now the template will be available for you. Previously, it was not available. I'm choosing it because it's a mandatory field. What? So click on create. So with this template, we are now creating an RFQ. It's a single stage RFQ. I have now set it zero one two find single find stage find RFQ. It's a single stage RFQ. Now find RFQ. So for that one, now coming find what? The thing is that when it is going to close, find click on it. I will now say it is it is going to close on what happens? The thirtieth or twenty sixth. So some date I am giving it. Now find what? Now waiting close. So the remaining I am now leaving it as such. Now find what? 
Well, so go to the terms. I'm not modifying anything. The collaboration team. I'm also be uh, added. No, thank you, Mark. I'm I'm having a full power actually. These two are only having a scoring powers. Man, so I will not go to the lines now. Requirements. You go to the requirements. I'm not modifying any requirements at all. So whatever we are configured in the template, everything is true actually. Man, I will not add the scoring team. No, fine. Financial viability will be scored by the fin team actually. Thank you, Mark. Drop it down. I will not choose the fin team now. Fine, fin team. And then the technical. Well, I must go there. Click on it. I will not add the technical team. Thank you, Mark. I will not say it's a tech team. Go ahead, go ahead. So go there. So we added the team also to score actually. Fine, click on save. <clears throat> So the respective team members will be communicated on the upon approval actually. Upon approval, they will be communicated. So it is not an appointment. I will not go to the lines now. Click on lines. So let me add the lines. So click on plus now. Fine. I'm going to add the lines. So we're going to add the lines now. Click on plus. I'm going to add the lines. So I will not use the ready-made item, which we are having it in the vision actually. <clears throat> so go there. So I will not say it's a AS65000. So we have one item. I will not choose the standing print up and no, everything is coming. So go that you want so the quantity is what I will not say uh, 10 quantities, man, the quantity, 10 quantities. And the current price is approximately 100 now. Fine. So the current market price is 100. And the, the start price, I'm asking the uh, suppliers to start at a value of what? Let us say 95. So you give a quote from 95 onwards, man, allow lines to over it. Alternate lines are also fine. So select it. So the market price of the uh, inkjet printer is 100. And then let them start the quote from 95 onwards. onwards. But they may not be able to start from 95. So they may even give a higher price, but we are asking hmm. select and then click on edit now. And click on edit. So click on edit now. Fine. Click on edit. There's the edit line. Fine. Click on edit. Line is not done. Fine. Go to into the inside. What happens? You go there and then edit. You're going to edit it actually. So click on edit now. We are editing it actually. You must enter a, a delivery date now. When you want delivery now. Request a delivery. Don't go there. Click on it. I will not say he has to deliver it by what happens? The second. So go there. So delivery date is an important one now. Click on it. So click on it. Then click on it. Go there. Here, what happens? Everything is coming. Fine. Go there. The start price is coming. The current price is coming. Fine. Go there. Item is coming. Fine. Go there. And then go there. The line target price, you can leave it as you can go there. And then here, what happens? I will not say the cost factors. Right? I will not say. Uh, click on the add from list actually. Add from list. We already created a cost factor actually in the previous training. So click on search now. We will not add from the list. We will not add it. So these two cost factors are getting added. Actually. So he has to cost how much is the storage cost and transportation cost. So that will now add up to his weightage actually. But they will not be reflecting on the PO at all. PO will not tell you what are the storage cost, transportation cost. But while evaluating it, what happens? These costs will be added actually. In the attributes also add from a list. Click on the add from list. I will not add from list. We already created the list now. And then I click on search now. Find the list is ready. I choose it and then click on OK now. Find by which what happens? This is coming. So he has to quote on the attributes also because the required one right, is required. So he has to say what is the resolution and warranty is a must actor. It is the item attribute actor. The item attribute. And then the cost factors, you may even say what happens. Nothing is going to be displayed actually. I will not put a tick mark on the display target. No, thank you for it. Uh, what is the target we are expecting? It? No, line target price for the cost factors. And that may be a wrong one. I have not set up anything. I am not exactly aware of what exactly. Mm -hmm. I will not say display target price. I will not say. Target price, so how much we are expecting it? Let's say we are expecting a 98, not by 98, and display the target the supplier actually. So, you know, on the line line, what happens? You're going to the cost factors also. If you know it, what happens? You can even give it now. It's a 10 quantities actually. So, 10 quantities, one fine, go that to one and then go there. So, click on save and close by which what happens? The lines attribute on the cost factors and attribute list is now made. I click on save and close. Then what so you must enter a target price that is less than the start price, actually. <laughs> now, you know, say 92. No? <laughs> 92 is our target price. So click on save and close. You may not get it, fine. <clears throat> it's like, what I want to marry Nainthara, but it is not possible, actually. So go there. Our, our target price is 92, even though the uh, current market price is 100, actually. So click on save, no, fine, click on save. And then go there. So whether you go to the supply, supply contract terms is not required, but no, see it up to the contract. And now learn the procurement contract and suppliers are already there. Thank you, Connor. Then go there to Connor. And then you go to actions and then go to validate. Now, fine. When you validate, you will not see there. 31796, the one fine, no errors or warning fine. We will now click on the publish. Upon publishing, 31796 will be submitted for approval. If I click on publish, 31796 will be submitted for approval. Actually, it will be going for approval. <clears throat> so, the negotiation was submitted for approval. 31, 7, so, now we will now log in as what Calvin Roth. So, for which what happens, we will now reset the password of Calvin Roth. We will now go there and click on it. I will not go to the tools and go to the tools. <clears throat> I will not go to the tools. 
and then here whatever they go that you go to the what's called uh, security console i will not query for that calvin drop to find drop calvin what are the users users i will not say drop calvin or who if it's fine calvin query for it no fine drop calvin or calvin drop fine calvin Roth. I'm not going to query now. Fine. So we'll not query for the Calvin Roth. <clears throat> we'll not query for the Calvin Roth. Calvin. Uh, the name is Calvin Roth. Fine. Calvin. And then entry no. So Calvin Roth will work. I will not select it. And then now this is the password for us. So click on this password. And that will not go there and then after own it. <clears throat> So the password is now getting reset actually. So the password for the Calvin Roth is now reset. I, mean, I will not take a copy of it. I will go there. I will not log in through another browser actually and click on the one. In the meantime, we will have a look at the negotiation and click on it. It must be in a pending approach. Three one nine. Fine. You will not go to what procurement. You will not go to the procurement. I go to the procurement. I will not go to the procurement. And then here I will not go to the negotiations. And then have a look at the negotiation. So you go to the manage negotiation now. Go to the manage negotiations. So go to the manage negotiations and then here whatever the, if you know it whatever owned by so and so fine click on search now fine we'll be so the owner is there and go to it. so now whatever the, it is now in a draft and approval in process so 31796 is about so 31796 so the previously what happens if we are unable to submit because the line was not coming now fine click on approval is in process 31796 so let me go there and then log in on this now fine on the calvin process i'll go there so 17 is the one so let me go there and then log in as Calvin dot Roth. Calvin dot Roth. So Calvin dot Roth. And then we will not log in. So we are not logging as Calvin dot Roth. So on the right hand side top, the bell icon will be having a notification. You'll be having a notification. Right? So click on the bell icon, you'll be having a notification. Because it's a large negotiation, and so whatever we need, whatever the action request, supplier profile change request is okay, fine with that. But still, it is not coming. Fine. If the 31796 is not come off, fine. Let it come. Take some time actually. It's not coming. So in that case, whatever you can click on the uh, dash 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 on the left hand side navigator, and then you go to the tools, and then go to the approvals. So it will be either approvals or something in a workplace. Not either it will be approvals or workplace. Fine. Click on the approvals, and then see whether it has come here or not. So click on it. So it has to come to this page now. Like you want. So fusion application automatically generated supply profile change is now coming. Uh, uh, document, document, document. So it has to become three actually. Fine, no, one coming. <clears throat> so uh, that's okay. Fine, but the other ones has to come now. Fine, and not yet come now. Fine, on it. So click on it and then wait for that thing to come. Now. Fine, yeah, it's coming. Approve T01 to RFQ, fine. 31796 has come for approval. He will not approve it from here. It's like click on approve, you're not going to approve. So the moment he approves it, what happens? It will be communicated back to our system now, fine. So he is now approved. Fine. Now go to our system, fine. Click on it. And then make a search now, fine. Click on search. It will be inactive still. Approval in progress. Fine. We make a search now, fine. 31796 will be inactive. Fine. No active. Now what happens? We can even log in as supplier and then see, now, fine. Click on it. Now go there. I will not log out and log in. Fine. The supplier will be getting a notification on this. So the first supplier, all the three suppliers will be getting it. You now see on the first supplier. You know, go there. So I'm going to say A1 dot N1. Fine, that is the first supplier. So A1 dot N1 will be getting a notification that he has to quote on this. So once when it is active, it will be communicated to all the participating suppliers. I will now go to the supplier portal. Fine, click on the supplier portal. There, what happens? You know, see in the supplier portal. Fine, click on the supplier portal. Click on the supplier portal. You will now find requiring attention will be coming in this place. It requires attention. It was showing that it requires attention and to be communicated to him. All the participants. He has got one requiring attention. If you click on the one on the infolet, if you click on the infolet, you can very well see that this quotation has come to him. This negotiation has come to him. Is it so soon closing soon? Because on 26, it is going to close actually. And click on it. Now see that. So, so he's able to see the overview. Fine. Click on the overview. 
and the thing is, you know, see the requirements, fine. these are the requirements there, no, fine, no, 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 thank you, fine. So these are the two requirements actually, fine, you know, financial and all those things are, and then go to the lines area, fine, you know, see, what are the lines, fine, how many days are remaining, fine, everything is done, fine. and then go to the contact and go to the level level. So from here, what happens, we will know, he is now going to give, give a response actually. So that we will now see it tomorrow. How he is going to give a response, we will know how to it tomorrow. Got it? So we'll now continue tomorrow on the response by the suppliers actually. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Bye. Bye.